Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, as you probably already read, title description or the thumbnail, we're going to be going to the mall and we're going to be looking for all of the best summer shorts, affordable summer shorts for your viewing pleasure. But before I progress in today's video, we have a special guest today. My beautiful, my lovely, my smart, my intelligent, my God-fearing Gabriella. Welcome to the channel. Good morning. What's up, fam? <laughs> I haven't had any coffee yet. I'm really excited that you're coming to vlog with me today, babe. This Aww. is really exciting for me. And I can get your opinion. And what's really nice is we can get a female's opinion because at the end of the day, we're out here in the Facebook group impressing each other. Oh, it's <laughs> Very good. So thank you for uh, coming to vlog with me. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. I love you. Me. But before we go any further in today's vlog, I did want to give a special thank you and shout out to today's sponsor, Keeps. If you didn't already know, Keeps is your one-stop shop for all things related to male pattern baldness. Two out of every three men, which is the majority of us, will experience a noticeable amount of hair loss by the age of 35. Fortunately, there is something you can do about it. Uh, I'm sorry, Keeps. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to wait real quick. Wardrobe Change. malfunction. All right, go ahead and run inside. Fortunately, we haven't even left the house yet, so <laughs> maybe we could get you a new cup too. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Fortunately, there is something you can do about it. The keep system is designed to prevent and in some cases reverse the effects of male pattern baldness. Now, this isn't just another baseless claim or sponsored video because I'm a legitimate customer. Link below is not only a link to go ahead and purchase keeps and be a part of the system, but also my personal testimonial of my hair loss journey and what it took to regain it through keeps. When it comes to hair loss, reversing it is rare, so prevention is essential. Go ahead and hit the link in the description for the best deal available. Once again, huge thank you and shout out to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's go and jump right back into today's video. Everybody, so we just got here to the mall. We started Nordstrom and work our way through the entire mall looking for the best pairs of shorts for the spring and summer months. All right, so we're here in Nordstrom. And to start things off, I found a brand that really reminds me a lot of cactus plant flea market it actually might be the same brand it's called the market 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 but they essentially have the same kind of aesthetic more of that like flea market vibe very uh vibrant colors as well a nice weighted french terry material it's brushed french terry actually now generally speaking i like to go with uh, fabrics that are a bit more breathable uh, just because you know it's a summer month and you don't necessarily want crazy insulation. Now on the topic of breathable shorts, mesh. Mesh is definitely a great option uh, for the spring and summer months. These do have a nice inseam. Uh, I wanna say it's like six inches, which is definitely on the shorter side, so you'll get that above the knee look. I mean, I'm trying to avoid sweat shorts. They show a lot of sweat and they're mainly, yeah, it's gross. and they're highly insulating. How's that there? Yeah, that's a no for me. How do you feel about shorts, Gabby? I like denim shorts. Denim shorts? These are just kind of loud for me. Simple pair, distressed denim. It's almost like that macro made look. You guys can go ahead and make this pair at home. We have a nice little uh, amalgam of shorts right now. It's very diverse. I think I'm gonna grab a couple more shorts, take them to the dressing room. <laughs> I feel like it's a hard pass for me. It's a hard pass? You don't like it? That's fine. I feel like these are a little bit better in terms of a fit and how they look overall. I like those. You do like them. Yeah, but I feel like they would look a lot better with a different shoe. Gabby's laughing behind the camera already. Yeah. So we don't like these, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, we don't like them. Okay. So I actually really like the color and I like the fit. I just don't like that graphic. Don't like the graphic. How about you? Yeah, I know. Same? The graphic's kind of dark and ominous, isn't it? All right, so these are those black shorts that Gabby liked from All Saints. Oh, yeah. They're a little long, though. You like you prefer shorts above the knee, huh? Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, guys, so just got done here shopping at Nordstrom made my final purchase and overall I definitely say there is a good amount of shorts 
Um, some of it's a hit, some of it is a miss, but overall there's a lot of options here. Outside of that, experience was really, really good. Um, I do like the shorts I ended up purchasing. I'll go ahead and show you guys everything I did purchase and style them as soon as I get home. But yeah, overall we're off to a good start. All right, and so second stop of the day is none other than Swish Studios. Oh, Gabby's already looking at some shoes. What do you got over here? Some Yeezys? Yes. Hey, have these grown on you yet, babe? No, she said no right away. So what's really sick about this store is that they have their own line of merch. So we got some Gucci inspired shorts here. Something a little bit more clean over here. Cream with the orange hit, very fire. Pretty well. Let me very see. Very breathable, like I mentioned earlier, very fire. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I love breathable shorts. Oh, nice. Those are nice. And then they're also actually going to gift us a t-shirt. So shout out to Swish Studios for setting us up. I think I'll pick these two up. All right, guys. So just got done at the second shop. Next, we're going to a crowd pleaser, my personal favorite for basics, Uniqlo. All right, so we're looking for shorts. Oh, these are so soft. Oh, these are nice. Great active shorts. They're like light. They're like yoga shorts. These are kind of like the Lululemon ones. I know, that's why I kind of like them. They're like stretchy and stuff. Oh, what, what? what's this? The bottom one? Is that nylon? Yeah. No, it's cotton. Oh, that's cotton. <laughs> Should we take those with it or do we like those or no? Yeah, try them, why not? This is actually a pretty sick denim jacket. It's like a chore trucker jacket. Oh, here's some nylon shorts, baby. Project. Very solid, yeah. I hope they fit good. They look kind of long. All right, so here's the boxy tee that I'm wearing today. Those shirts are awesome. Highly recommend. I'll have them linked below. They're a boxy. I go with a size medium, 5'7", weigh about 160 pounds. Really good if you just want to, you know, be comfortable. Like if it's a hot summer day. On those days where you just don't feel like dressing, just pick up a white tee and it'll look good. Didn't you say before like white tees are your favorite tees on me? Also, here's today's outfit of the day. Went simple with the white tee from here in Uniqlo. Got the minimal cargos, real tree camo, and we have the bread fours. All right, so we find ourselves yet again in another dressing room, this time in Uniqlo. What's been really great is that they have a ton of shorts uh, for the spring and summer months, and honestly, a huge variety in relation to fabrics. Right now, I've got on a pair of cotton shorts. See, they're known as the jersey shorts. There was definitely intention with regard to how they chose to use the density of the fabric because it's actually quite light. Here we have the nylon utility shorts. They are crinkling nylon, and as its name entails, they have like a utility element to them, which is actually the perfect size for a cell phone. This is a Pro Max, definitely a potential candidate. While these had a lot of potential promise, I'm just not a huge fan of the fit as well as the design elements. This is a perforated polyester mesh. Uh, they're definitely serviceable in terms of comfort. Just uh, I feel like the design's not really there as much. It looks like we saved the best for last. The active swim shorts. Apart from the netting inside, which I will end up cutting out, these are perfect. Can we swap it? As I'm finishing up lunch here, we're gonna go ahead and check out a few other stores that this mall has to offer. It's always fun to go into different cities and see what shops that they have in their malls because this one seems to be never ending. There's so many good stores here. We go ahead and shop the entirety of this mall to go ahead and find as many great shorts as possible for the spring and summer. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have yet to hop on the Lulu wave, do yourself a favor and just get yourself one pair. Lululemon shorts are so excellent. They're a little bit pricey, like a hundred bucks per pair, but they're so, so good. Lululemon shorts are the treat that keeps on giving. What's the difference between these? Pace breaker short, okay. Oh, so they're the exact same shorts. So here they are on this insane comfort, but I highly recommend not getting the lined shorts. So obviously I'm not gonna purchase this color, but uh, this is a five inch inseam. It's a bit shorter. It finishes up in the thigh here. All right, so I just got done at Lulu. And yeah, we're here at Forever 21 now. I just realized that all of the Forever 21s around me went out of business. It's really been years since I've been to Forever 21. Oh, these aren't bad. Contrast stitching on these ones. What material is this? like a cotton. They actually also come in teal or like an emerald green. Number one, here from Forever 
These are like a carpenter style short with the detail of the contrast stitching. Hopefully pretty hard. Let's see what Gabby has to say. Not so bad. Not those pleated pants. Very, very comfortable, super soft and light. Like a like jammy pants, dude. They're so comfortable. Did end up finding a pair of denim shorts. They're actually not half bad. The wash is pretty decent. It's just I've never been a huge fan of uh Forever 21. Alright, and so we've made our way into Zara. There's a pair of like linen style shorts. Got some geometric style shorts there. So they got like a whole restock of the Zara Rude stuff. And I gotta say, I gotta try them. These boys are small. Yeah, these are extremely tough. Excellent fabric too. Got the little Rude right there at the bottom. Not bad. They also come in like a slate gray. Green pair as well. So they're shaped like running shorts. I did go ahead and find a few shorts here at Zara ton of selection from menswear over to streetwear just because i have a little bit of everything at a pretty moderate price all right last stop of the day is amber crombie and fit Sixty. some mesh shorts here it's a nice color as well some shorter basketball shorts really taking a lot of inspo from ame leon door that like New York inspired 90s fashion. Kind of mixing menswear with streetwear. Both very fire. I like these more, but unfortunately they don't have my size. I do like it, how about you? Yeah, it's pretty fire. You look like pretty preppy, but I like it. I like it. my loafers with this. They're a different pattern. I like yeah. that color better. So here are those mesh shorts. Definitely on the shorter side, but I kind of, I should prefer it. How do you feel about the shorts? The shorter side. Cute. They fit perfect. Yeah? I think I so. I thought you might think they're too short. So I picked up a couple more items here. These polos look really nice. Man, Amber Crombie is just really, really doing a good job as of late, I have to say. Get this thumbnail real quick. Yo, what is good guys? So back here at the house and I did want to go ahead and go over all of the pairs of shorts that I proceeded to purchase through the duration of today's vlog for your purchasing convenience i will have a link to as many bottoms in today's video as possible if you do have a hankering for any of the bottoms that i feature today not to keep too much of your time let's go ahead and jump right into uh, what we have here and so to kick things off we started out the vlog at nordstrom and that's what we're going to start out with today uh first up we have a pair of these pleasures shorts they are a dual layer, the outside being a thick nylon and the inside uh, being a thinner lining of mesh. It does feature super minimalist branding all throughout. It's got like an all over print as well as a pleasures rubberized hit uh, down at the bottom. A really nice fitting pair of shorts, if I don't save myself, at a retail price of $70. It is a little bit pricey, but I would definitely say there is a good level of quality with regard to these shorts, and they do fit pretty nicely. So next, we have here a pair of denim shorts by Topman at a price point of 70 bucks. Again, it is a little bit pricey, especially given the quality of the denim. Overall, a very simple pair of denim shorts that have medium wash out front. Uh, they fit fairly slim through the thigh. I'd probably rock these with like some Vans or something like that. Uh, just a good look for summertime. So definitely needed some denim shorts in the rotation. And the last pickup from Nordstrom is a Brass Plum. If you guys don't know, Brass Plum is Nordstrom's house brand. And uh, just a great overall fitting pair of trunks. You could totally wear these um, as just casual shorts that are very light, a uh, crinkly nylon outer shell with a liner that is mesh. So uh, just a good pair of shorts overall. They are priced at 35 and by Nordstrom standard, that is a very, very competitive price point. So that's why I did pick this one up. 
as well. Moving on, we have a pickup from Swish Studios, and here we have a pair of mesh shorts. As I kind of already mentioned in the video, I love mesh shorts because they're very light, uh, very airy, and offer a great amount of, of ventilation. So for that reason, you have high breathability. So this is great for the summertime, and uh, I do appreciate uh, Swish Studios for looking out. You guys know I've been loving Amber Comedy and Fitch as of late, and I had to definitely make a pit stop over there. Now, apart from purchasing some random stuff just for my personal wardrobe, I did end up buying one pair of shorts, and they are also comprised of mesh. Very, very sick fitting pair of shorts. Uh, the NCM on these, I believe, is about five inches, maybe six. They definitely are gonna be on the shorter side. Um, I do love how these shorts fit because they kind of give off uh, that old school aesthetic, which I do appreciate. They were 50 bucks, and in my mind, for a simple pair of mesh shorts, it is on the higher tier. It's not outrageous the price, but uh, mesh shorts generally are pretty cheap to make. So, I mean, if you're looking for best value, uh, perhaps look elsewhere. But with that said, if you gotta have them, if you love the fit, if you're looking for something easy to wear, look no further. Next up, this pair is from none other than Uniqlo, one of my favorite stores in the whole mall. Just because the level of consistency, the quality, and the value is always top notch. And that theme rings true for these shorts here. They fit very, very nicely, finishing above the knee. The nylon is of immensely good quality. There was one negative thing about this shorts, me being picky, it's the mesh lining on the inside. I don't know if you guys remember those uh, shorts with a net on the inside, but definitely very uncomfortable. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna cut them out problem solved and they are an excellent pair of shorts. Next, we have two pickups from Zara, both of which are in collaboration with Ruigi, AKA the creative director of Rude. Uh, this first pair is very fire. It's got a bit of a 3M effect to them. It is comprised of crinkly nylon, comparable to that of Stone Island, if you guys are familiar. Next, we have another pair by Ruigi, as I kind of mentioned, and this one is more of a running short style. Uh, they're going to run very, very short, so that's definitely something to consider uh, when purchasing these boys online. I personally do recommend just going in store to make sure that these are for you uh, because, yes, they are short, but they're a little bit shorter than you'd think. This pair is on the thinner side, not too, too much to them, apart from that they are nylon, they have a nice fit, and they do have uh, the lace lock here for the drawstring, which is also a nice little touch. And last up, we have two shorts from Forever 21. Now, all this stuff is pretty good value. I will definitely say that's essentially why I decided to feature them in today's video. But these pair here is far supersede uh, that concept of high value. And so depending on how you feel about Forever 21, you might love these or absolutely hate them. And so I'll go ahead and just show you what I'm talking about here. First, we have a pair of seersucker shorts. If you guys don't know, it's kind of that like ultra wrinkly striped style. I don't know if that's like the best accurate demonstration or description of them, but that's essentially what it is. It just looks like the fabric has been like wrinkled in the form of stripes going down uh, the shorts here. I love these shorts. They are unbelievably comfortable. All shorts are 50% off at Forever 21. I checked online and it's the same deal over there. Uh, so go ahead, check that out. The pair that I have here is a size medium. And so for $10, I had to pick them up. This next pair was a bit more of an outlier. It's that contrast stitch work pant short. Yes, contrast stitch work short. I actually ended up adding the chain myself uh, just to kind of really commit to that aesthetic. But honestly, I figured for 12 bucks, it was like a low risk potential reward kind of situation. So that's why I picked these up. I will have a link below to where you can find them as well as the rest of the shorts that I showed you in today's video. And now with that being said, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button as it does let me know to keep the content coming. Would you guys like to see me do a part two at a different mall? Um, this time around, I did go up to Cerritos. I'm thinking of going down to San Diego and seeing what uh, shorts we can find over there. If you currently own or planning to purchase any of these shorts, 
let me know in the comment section which they will be. I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel yet again. It really is so humbling uh, to have the privilege of making content for you. And I assure you, I will never take it for granted. We just hit 90K and that to me is absolutely bonkers. And uh, yeah, I just, I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, with that, as I end everybody here at Locust Wild Honey, peace and be blessed.